Hello everyone, today I'll be teaching how to make some uh, cherry chia seed pudding. So what you'll need is some milk, some black chia seeds or white chia seeds, a bowl, and of course some cherries. So we're gonna start off by washing your cherries. So let's wash these cherries. I'm just gonna rinse them really quickly and then you're gonna dry them off. And then um, if your seeds like mine are fresh, you're gonna have to unseed them and uh, you're gonna have to take the stems off. Oops, drop them. All right, so after you have de-seeded all of your cherries, you're gonna mash them. So, it's kind of being a little hard. Your fingers are a little more sour. And if you want, you can mash them and then um, put that at the bottom of your cup but I like mine a little more chunky, so I'm gonna keep them nice and chunky. And you do not wanna drain those juices because that's gonna give it a lot of flavor. So after you've finished mashing all of those berries, they should look something like this. You're gonna put that, uh, actually, you know what? We're gonna just get our milk. And then you're gonna pour it in your little container, the one that you're gonna keep it in. So that's what I'm gonna use. And you're gonna use chia seeds. So I'm using this Simple Truth Organic Black Seed Black Chia Seed uh, Pack. And then you're gonna pour it in. There. and then you're gonna stir them up. Now, depending on how you like your chia seed pudding, you can make it a little more on the watery side by adding less chia seeds, or you can make it a little more um, thick. I like mine kind of in between, so I'm gonna put about that much. All right. So now you're gonna let this sit in the fridge with the cover for about 15 minutes and then we can come this back to what it looks like now now you can't you should leave it if for the best results you should leave it overnight for some overnight oats this is a healthy and delicious recipe and there's a fun twist to it with the res with the cherries in it so i hope you enjoy bye